You're live! <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome. Saturday workout. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> okay, so um, as we tried to give you guys a little heads up uh, through some posts on Instagram, today is a total body workout, and we are going to be using the primarily free weights. However, you can modify everything with a resistance band if that's all you have, or a small child, or a small dog. So I know Justine, you asked this morning if you could use resistance band. I'm actually gonna retract my statement and say you should Buckley. use Buckley. Exactly. <laughs> so um, we are gonna work through a progressive warm up, which means every round it's gonna change, but we are targeting the same muscles the whole time. So uh, posterior lower body muscles, so glutes and hamstrings, and then back and core. And then we're going to move into a three set uh, workout where each one has a, a variation, but we're going to try to make it through each round or each set two for two rounds. And it's going to be a ton of fun, hopefully. So <laughs> we've got a variety of weights. Mine are tens, Annie's got five tens and fifteens, and Jane's got five and tens. So if that helps you select your weights at home, or if all you have is fifteens, maybe at some points you're going to be using one or two. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna start. So first we're gonna do a reverse lunge followed by supermans, followed by dead bugs. 10 reps of everything. All right, here we go. So stepping straight back, focus on standing up fully between each rep. Let them count for us. <laughs> Remember this is your warm up. So we're trying to find a nice smooth tempo here. You're slowly working to increase depth. If you're feeling a little stiff in the morning, that's totally normal. I will be modifying a lot, as you guys, most of you know, have a little fun in the oven. So I can't lay on my stomach. I can't do a lot of core. So I will be modifying exercises. If maybe whatever exercise we're doing is bothering you, look at me for the modification. So Superman, you're down on your belly, or you are with me. And we're going here, alternating, working to activate posterior, squeezing our glutes, squeezing our hamstrings, squeezing our shoulder blades. And then you are over to your back, stay on the ground, dead bugs. I'm gonna stand here. <laughs> so remember dead bugs are all about core bracing, Pushing that back flat to the ground. Opposite arm and leg, reaching towards the ground, that full big extension. Only 10, five aside, and we're standing right back up. So we're going to a side lunge. So we're stepping out every time to that side lunge, coming right back in nice and tall. People ask, what should I do with my hands? We all have kind of a different preference. Annie went hands on her hips. I went to reach for my shin. Jane went with prayer. <laughs> but the key is that you're keeping that hip knee, ankle aligned, sitting into that heel, pushing out of the bending leg, keeping the non-moving leg, now this one, straight. Feeling a good stretch in that adductor, making sure we don't fold over completely from that chest. You can always still read the logo. So after this, guys, we're gonna go back down to the ground. We've got swimmers and then toe touches. So move down to the ground unless you can't and then you're with me. We're working fingertips to our butt and thumbs together. This is a set of 15 reps here. This round increases. Nice little progressive warm up here. After 15, you are going over to your back, you have toe touches. So legs straight up, just working that short crunching motion, trying to reach towards your toes. Notice that the majority of your back is staying on the ground. You're actually only trying to lift those shoulders up off the ground. After 15, we are standing back up. We are going to split squats next. So split squats, Stationary feet, 20 reps on each leg. So hopefully we're feeling a little more warmed up here. We can cruise at a little faster tempo. 
and try to get our continue to elevate our body temperature and our heart rate so that we're ready for the next rounds of fun we're gonna have. <laughs> Oh, God. Switching legs. So our next exercise, guys, is going to be an upper body mountain climber. I'm going to modify the bench, keep myself elevated. Annie and Jane will show you from the floor. So this is upper body mountain climber, it's just alternating from a elbow plank to a high plank. Every time you switch, is one rep. Make sure that you switch that hand, so one hand pushes up from the elbow plank to the high plank. Good. We are finishing off with penguin, so stay on that ground, flat on your back, knees bent into your butt, your heels bent to your butt, <laughs> waddling side to side. So after 20 reps total, 10 on each side. We're standing up, we'll give you a quick rundown. It's a good time for a little bit of water if you need it. Maybe shed a layer, we're all feeling <laughs> a little toasty in here. So now it's time to grab your weights. So Justine, grab Buckley. <laughs> um, we have a squat to a curtsy to a press. So you are gonna have one weight at your shoulder, your choice if you want to hold the other weight at your hips for extra resistance on the lower body. Um, again, completely up to you. You can always just put one weight down. If you're using a resistance band, you're gonna step on it under the front foot, the stationary foot that's not curtsying. So I'll be squat, curtsy, press, if I was using a resistance band. All right? So this, everything is intense. This exercise is 10 per side. Ready, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I hate these. I know. <laughs> Someday I'll get them new dumbbells, guys. All right, here we go. Three, two, squatting. And keep that weight, oh. <laughs> all right, here we go. Keep that weight up at your shoulder so you do not have to curl it every time. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Should've put Jane in the middle, she's not messing up. No, actually I did it, it's too fast to one crazy. Hopefully one of you is counting. Well, we're at about six or seven, maybe six. <laughs> Between the two of them, we'll always be one or two away. <laughs> Is this the last one? Yep. Good. So now we're switching. You got pretty good at guessing. <laughs> You're learning that muscle fatigue. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, Annie moved into her apartment yesterday. I did. So exciting. She officially doesn't have to drive <laughs> 30 plus minutes to work, which is going to be great at 6 in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. A 10 minute commute today was wonderful. <laughs> but now I have 10 minutes. And it feels so long. <laughs> well, when you were spoiled living 10 minutes away with us. Yeah. I know, I thought it was going to be like, oh, super quick, and I'm like, it's still 10 minutes. Like, it's not, it's a long time. Next door. Annie, where you at? Maybe one more. Oh, cool. Oh, it's like two. Okay, perfect. We're going down to the ground, guys. This is going to be a glute bridge hold with a chest press. So, holding on to those weights, palms staying flat, we're facing away from you versus in. You have a resistance band. You're going to lay directly on top of that resistance band. We're going to hold our hips up in the blue bridge. And we will do, you guys shouldn't start yet. Focus on that timing. You. And we're going, to, we're going to just press. Your arms get tired. You're just going to hold with a slight elbow lock. Unlocked. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. 
do in 60 seconds. So this is not about speed. Nice and controlled. At 30 seconds, I'm gonna tell you to switch your grip. You're gonna rotate those palms in towards each other. Make sure we're squeezing those glutes nice and tight. And switch your grip here, palms now face in. Okay. A little narrower grip press here. Uh, I got the 15s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly happy right now. <laughs> I had one ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jenny, <laughs> the power lifter. <laughs> I'm still sore. <laughs> All right, five <laughs> seconds, guys. Here we go. Three, two, and break. Excellent work. So you can stay down on the ground. You guys are going to an elbow plank. So it's one, we're going to go into an elbow plank. We're going to do 10 circles. So our foot is going to work out away from our body line and come back in. 10 on one leg, and then 10 on the other. Here we go. <laughs> I was trying to do it so well. That is tense. Switch legs. And that is ten. Good. So stay down on the ground, guys. We have a V up with a press. So if you would like to hold. Wait for this, go ahead and grab a weight. You're gonna hold on to it at your hands. You're gonna start flat on the ground with your legs extended, and you're gonna pull yourself up into a V up, either with bent knees like Jane just showed, or you can go with straight legs to make it a little bit harder. But every time at the top, we're doing a press. If you have a resistance band, you could sit on it from your butt and get that press in. Otherwise, just do it, make the pressing motion without the resistance. Or wrangle that dog Buckley, <laughs> or small child, whatever you have. Large water bottle. Since you have that baby, you're gonna have to do all the workout demos with the baby. <laughs> you're gonna get a good head control quickly. Woo. All right, so ten total, and we're done. So we're going to catch our breath, we're going to go into our second set now, which is an RDL side lunge with forward press, all right? And depending on how much time we have left over at the end, if we're under 30 minutes, we'll come back through and go through another round, but we're hitting each set for one round right now, all right? So stand back up, grab your weights. Hold on to two if you feel like you're ready for the challenge, otherwise only hold on to one, and you are starting... <laughs> so you are starting with a RDL first, going forward, same moving leg and stepping out to that side lunge. When you're in your side lunge, you're pressing forward and then coming back. We'll go down, out to the side, press forward. If you chose two weights like I did with Jane and you're feeling like that press is super hard, that's okay, just go to one arm. And just make sure that when you switch to the other side, you are pressing with the other arm. So for me, 20 pounds of pressing, it's a bit much. The baby said no. So I'm gonna switch <laughs> to single arm because I still want the weight on my legs. It's just my core has a little limitation right now. Remember, just as in that warm up, that side lunge, we're looking for ankle, knee, and hip alignment. And the RDL, you keep a slight bend in that knee. Nice flat back. All right, switching sides. Here we go. So if you chose single arm, make sure that you are now switching arms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
feel bad. I, every time I lunge to the side, it's like, goodbye, Jimmy. <laughs> and then she plays peekaboo right on the back of me. <laughs> there you go. If you stay on tempo, you don't disappear. <laughs> Where are we at, ladies? Eight. Almost there. Oh, Last one, you? right? Yep. <laughs> Jade's still working on her counting. <laughs> We're going to go find a wall space to do a wall sit. So if you just have one weight um, and it maybe it's a little heavier or whatever you have, we're doing a wall sit with curl. So you'll be right here curling up. If you've got two, take them both with you because we'll switch between a hammer curl and a uh, palm up bicep curl. So here we go to the wall. We're getting started at three, two, hammer curl. Nice and steady. Remember, this is a 60 second interval. So you've got super lightweights, Jane and Annie. <laughs> Other fives, they'll probably get more reps done than I will, which is totally fine. Just make sure that you're keeping your body pressed against the wall, that every time we're curling, we're not throwing that body around. We are going to switch, we're going to go palms up now. If you feel like you're not getting enough out of the legs, so deeper. Just make sure that your whole foot is contacting that ground, heel to toe. And that you're not lifting your heels up, pushing into those toes to compensate. If that's happening and you can't fix it, sit up a little higher on your wall set. Like me. We just look extra short today. <laughs> Still they are, they are. <laughs> and great, good work. Okay, we are going to a high plank kick through. So the choice is to either go elbow to opposite, excuse me, knee to opposite elbow, and then extend, or just do knee to elbow. So in my case, I will just be doing knee to elbow. I'll go right here with Annie. <laughs> so here we go, guys. We are going to stay on the same side, so keep that climber going to the same elbow. We've got 10, and then we're going to switch sides. We're looking for that hip to rotate, getting some nice mobility work. We're going to switch sides right away to the other. I'm a little sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> And that's fun. All right, so stay down on the ground, guys. We're going to flat back openers. So this is a great exercise to have a weight for. If you can keep your back down, so you're going to start flat on your back. Your legs are going to be extended out in front of you, and you're going to pull in. You're actually going to try to even lift your chest up off the ground every time you pull that weight into your chest. Extend that head back to the ground and pull it out. So we're tucking and extending. Tucking and extending. I said that at the wrong tempo with them, but <laughs> you hopefully know what I mean. It's only 10 of these guys, so really focus on that nice, long extension, keeping the small of our back neutral. So if it's a little bit arched, that's okay. It just cannot get any bigger. You need to brace and try to force your back into that, to hold that neutral posture. After 10, we're standing up. We're going to set three. Woohoo! Yeah. Woohoo! So. This one's too hard. We can't even talk. <laughs> sorry, I'm not sorry. It's only easy for me because I don't have to do that last core exercise. So, Bulgarian split squat. If you guys have a box, a bench, a couch, or something nearby, that's what you're going to use. If you don't, just hold yourself in a split squat and forget about elevating your back leg. But I'm going to use two weights again, but, I'm, but we're doing a Bulgarian split squat with an overhead press. So if you only want to use one, that's fine. You can hold it into one hand. If you want to use two, keep the other one down at your hip. So back leg is elevated onto whatever surface you have. Well, oh, I'm totally blocking you guys. <laughs> There's Jane. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going down. Every time we come up, we go into our press. All right, so if you've got one, two hands on the weight, 
We've got Annie over there giving a great demonstration. Nice full deep range of motion, really working to get that front leg parallel with the ground. I think I've got one more. Well, I think your tempo was finished. Yeah, you're, I can't keep your tempo. Really? I think Jane's got like this alternate level in her head. She just like closes her mind, and goes to infinity and beyond. So remember that front foot, guys, the wing foot. You really need to keep contact mid foot to heel. <laughs> Last one. All right. So now we're going to an isometric squat hold with a tricep kickback. So if you have a resistance band, you're standing on that with two feet, kickbacks are going this way, all right? If you're with free weights, if you're with us, you're gonna get into as deep of a squat as you think you can hold for 60 seconds. And then all we're doing is kick back, straight back from there. So, let's have some fun. Three, two, and let's work. So, we wanna make sure that you can get deep enough in the squat and still keep that chest upright. So just think about a wall set with a slight lean forward in order to accomplish our tricep extension. At 30 seconds, I'm gonna have you guys switch your grip. We're actually gonna point our palms back away from us, in our case towards the wall behind us, and just challenge the triceps on another angle here. And switch that grip, palms going down, still bending at those elbows. Those legs are getting tired, stand up a little bit. Those triceps are getting tired, grip and bear it. Yeah. <laughs> Good news, guys. Eight seconds. Three, two, and break. Good work. That's a so lot of people that lost it. <laughs> We've got an elbow kick again, guys, with a side leg raise. Sorry. Let me rephrase that. It's a side plank with a leg raise. What's to confuse us? <laughs> oh, man. So. Uh, <laughs> Elbow plank on the side, hips are isometrically being held up, top leg is moving up to down. This is one I can't do also, unfortunately. So I will do a regular plank, <laughs> and I will just hold it until we're done. But make sure as you do this, if you take a look at Jane's alignment, you can see that her top shoulder, bottom shoulder, and elbow create a straight line. If you look at Annie's alignment, you can see the same thing. You can also see that Annie is not leaning forward, right? She's staying nice and upright. If you need a modification, that bottom knee should be on the ground. If the leg is the bent, the foot facing back, you might give her a little bit more stability. Okay, stay down there, over to your back. We've got windshield wipers. So, you might have to get away from the wall a little bit. So legs start straight up in the air, and instead of doing a leg raise straight down in front of you, you're actually going to take your legs sideways to the ground, like windshield wipers, right? Going across your window. The key here is to try to keep your feet together as you do this. Try not to let one foot just plop down to the ground as you're doing it. Core stays really tight. Shoulders stay on the ground. Do not let your whole body roll over, and it's control. So if you let the, your legs pull you to the ground, you're missing one of the largest loading phases on the core. Eccentric, elongating phase to be lower. So don't do that, or just get less out of the workout. Yep. Ten. Excellent. All right, guys, we have a little bit of right around five minutes left of each, or five minutes left in the workout. So we're going to go back and we're going to start at the top with curtsy. Squat, curtsy with overhead press, because that's the exercise I'm picking, and each of us will pick one from each set, okay? Oh, something fun for you, and for us. Okay, so, again, your choice, either press with both, press with one, whatever you would like to do, all right? 
Here we go, squat, curtsy, up to press. And hopefully, look at how much better we are second round. That's what Shelly wanted to change the practice. <laughs> Shelly can't be so far. <laughs> I think that might actually be the subconscious reason why I wanted to do it, maybe. Oh, that hurt. And the fact that I really do like curtsy lunges. I just get my glutes so well. I love the split kick that I'm going into. That's not what I feel. Oh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't feel. <laughs> well, but for you and your tight hips. Yeah. Is that seven, guys? Or is yeah, this eight? This, you're at eight? Okay. Well, we're in the same tempo, so I trust you. So this should be the last one? Yep. Good. So switch your weights if you're pressing with one. And we're on the curtsy again. Once again, we're grabbing the 15. <laughs> it's the last round, though. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> I'm proud of you, too. But I feel like I have to say that now. Yeah. So I feel like it's not as worth it, but I'll tell you later when no one's watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Six. Six. Oh. <laughs> uh, Can't count. The weight's hurting my hand. <laughs> they were so nice. They didn't give me the. They didn't give me the plates. The dumbbells. Or didn't give me the plates. That was so didn't good. give me the plates. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Jane. Since your hands are broken, tell us what exercise you're going to do next in set two. Wall sit and curl. Oh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Try to go right around this. <laughs> okay, three, two hammer curls. So remember, guys, last round, you're not going to do this exercise again. So be aggressive here. More weight, more depth, more repetitions, whatever you can do. Remember, at 30 seconds, we're going to switch our grip and go to a palm up curl. <laughs> I can just hear us breathing. Yeah. <laughs> I was just wondering if they could hear that as well. I hope they can. Palm up. <laughs> I'm feeling, you guys can definitely hear my breathing. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yep. I definitely feel the wall sit now. <laughs> yeah. The burn. We've got 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, and break. Oh. All right, Annie, what's our finisher here? Well, as I left core, we're going to do elbow plating. Leg right in. Oh, <laughs> Could have guessed it. Didn't matter which set it was, she was picking one of the four. <laughs> oh, I figured I'd do it for her. <laughs> so we've got our side plank, guys. If you are comfortable with the side planks, you can just hold the plank with me. We're just going to hold a whole duration. They're working. So in a perfect world, guys, I'd be planking down here. Yeah. So I gotta plank a little higher, but do me a favor if you're planking with me, keep your palms apart. Try not to hold them together. You can see that works a little bit more posterior shoulder by having to rotate them apart. And remember, if you're doing those side planks, it doesn't matter how high you get those legs. It just matters if you're engaging your glutes. <laughs> oh! And he's striking the volleyball picture pose. High <laughs> school <laughs> photo. All right, guys. So thank you for joining us. We hope that that was a nice way to start your Saturday off. I'm sweating. Oh, yeah. I'm really, really sweating. sweating. <laughs> Have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll see you guys back on Monday. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. 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 Bye.